Understanding Color Basics, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the vibrant world of colors. Color basics are not just about hues and shades. They're the foundation of how we describe and understand the world around us. So, whether you're an artist, a designer, or just curious, join me as we explore this colorful topic. Colors are all around us, and they play a vital role in our lives. But what exactly are they? At its core, color is the characteristic of visual perception described through color categories, with names such as red, blue, yellow, etc. These perceptions derive from the stimulation of the human eye by light waves. Different wavelengths are perceived as different colors. Let's start with the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. These are the colors that can't be made by mixing other colors together. They're the building blocks from which all other colors are created. When you mix primary colors, you get secondary colors. When you mix two primary colors, you get a secondary color. For example, red and blue make purple, blue and yellow make green, and yellow and red make orange. Mixing a primary color with a secondary color gives you a tertiary color. These are the colors like yellow, orange, and blue, green that have a two-word name. A color wheel is a circular diagram that shows the colors in the order they appear in the spectrum or rainbow. It's a useful tool for understanding how colors relate to each other. Primary colors are evenly spaced around the wheel, and the secondary and tertiary colors are placed between them. Colors are also categorized as warm or cool. Warm colors, like red, orange, and yellow, are vibrant and can appear to come forward in a space, making objects seem closer than they are. Cool colors, like blue, green, and purple, provide a sense of calm and tend to recede, making objects appear further away. Colors are not just visual elements, they carry meanings and emotions. For example, red can signify love or danger, while blue can evoke calmness or sadness. Understanding the associations and symbolism of different colors can be very powerful, especially in art and design. In English, we often use colors to describe feelings, situations, or actions. Phrases like, feeling blue, or green with envy, show how integral color is to our expression. Paying attention to these colloquialisms can enrich your understanding of English and its nuances. And that wraps up our colorful journey. I hope this video has brightened your understanding of color basics and how they're woven into the English language. Keep practicing, and soon you'll be painting the town red with your new vocabulary. Until next time, goodbye and keep learning!